pudding. Go. Oh, hey, we have phone music. All right, play as on on Raven's past as the Magenta Russia. We have SW Last, who is currently one 0 up against his opponent. Playing as the Red Epsilon Headquarters, we have Dark Pestilence. Raven's Pass is um, an interesting map. This will be Dark Pestilence's play time to call a victory back and make sure that it goes to the full three 0 He definitely has the opportunity to make it work. As we could, as evidenced by the tournament bowl game, and we have one archer, two engineers, both players. Yeah, and we've got the flag troopers out here as well. Three engineers out from last, though. It looks like he has an eye on the tech machine shop in the center, but he's going to want to be careful with that second engineer because we do have a wild spook trawling the pre ah. I can't put my teeth back in. We have a wild spook trawling around the premises here, and that engineer is looking pretty isolated. Both engineers are looking. Isolated, but oh no, it dives on one. Ah! Yes, a dead engineer. <laughs> right, the flagship is to the tech concrete bunker, and that spook's gonna want to try and invade. Spook's also kill another dog up on the left here, as it looks like Lars trying to get into an extra scouting detail as well. That spook barely enters, at least see the base crawl. By the way, on the note of the base crawl, we should note neither player has elected to move their MCV. So, could be interesting, we're going for a bit more odd game, as generally the convention is you move to be ever so slightly closer, like on top of the field here or here, likewise somewhere around here, the top player, and then you start your base crawl off on a slightly better note towards the gems. You don't tend to come too far behind in production, funnily enough, but, and you get quite the economic advantage just by being that much closer to your gem field. We see a lot. We're seeing a repeat here from Dark Pestilence of a large infantry force as well, but he's going to have to keep in mind these aren't conscripts, they're initiates. Uh, so they're going to be a lot more expensive, so he's going to want to watch his money income, whilst Last can is generally taking a page out of the previous game, Soviet Playbook, and going for an early conscript rush, except this time the numbers are about parity, which means that it generally favours the initiates here. I'm not entirely sure how much scouting last has done. Probably a fair bit, considering he's stopped there. Initiates fall back slightly to behind. A couple of conscripts up on the left there, as they've come up through this room instead. Initiates force firing to make their presence known. There's a cut there's the dog from last. He's at least seen this part. Yeah, he had a piece in this area of the base, but he definitely knows there are initiates there now as the dog's just been shot by them. It looks like he's going to decide to take this engagement, which is not necessarily the right call to make. He's forced right on the ground now. He loses a conscript to that. And he's, well, he's seen the rest of the initiate force and decided to stop that. Let's get some reinforcements down. Dark Pestilence has got... Okay, early sinful. Terratime tries to affect a Ghost Minus, succeeds on the second attempt. Yeah, the, that last has immediately can't. No, sorry, Dark Pestilence has immediately cancelled that Ghost Miner production and gone straight for the Repair Stinger. He's not going to lose a miner to a Terra Drone, much like Last actually lost one of his miners to that trick earlier. Immediately restarts miner production and gets that Ghost Miner to full health. Last has completed his base crawl as the top player is generally more favourable and he has a fuel bureau down now as well so we'll probably see Shocky soon but his main issue is that he hasn't relocated his miners. They're all still mining the ore field, he's only got the one miner on the gem field. Now if he wants to mass produce Shockies on double barracks, he's triple barracks now, sorry my apologies, there we go. He's going to want to move them all over to the gem field as soon as humanly possible and mine that out because Shockies are expensive and they'll drain your bank fast. If you go on quadruple barracks now, okay. Okay. Uh, just making sure, yep, Discord stream is definitely working. But yeah, no, on quadruple barracks, yeah, last has gone bankrupt, considering he's only got the one minor on the gems. He 
moves a second miner over, but he's going to need to move a lot more than that. As he neglects to carry on with the rest of his miners. Last has completed his base crawl over to the left as well, and is seemingly only mining on one ghost miner over there. And he goes, he sees the shockies, and he decides his answer is a triple barracks of his own. He's not going to go for the quintuple, he's going to stay in the triple. He works on another ore refinery, likely to try and start mining up out here. He places down Gatling Cannon. Start to see some mine control out here as well. I think Dark Pet, I, I think Last has missed the window of opportunity for Shockies to work, but at least he's keeping them on Initiates Mine Control main production because he's going to solve that problem with Foxtrot. He's going to go double airbase as well. There it is. And then the Tesla reactor because, yeah, he is slightly shy on power. I imagine after this Tesla reactor, we're going to see a um, refinery. Instant shelter goes down up on the top, and that's immediately filled up in there to try and clear up the Gatling cannons. Clears out the first one. Brandon Foxtrot gets mind controlled as they try and make a move on the MCB, but here comes the first Foxtrot. Kills one initiate, but it only fires one missile payload. <laughs> And these conscripts decide to take on an ore refinery. Now, it should be noted that despite their insane damage against other buildings, conscripts actually don't do that much damage against ore refiners. I think that's down to the concrete armor type of both of the ore refinery. Oh, that's not good for that for that ghost miner. That's been lit up by by the um, by the instant shelter here. But here come the here come the initials. So they're going to absolutely rings that down. They don't take too casualties. Here comes the triple box drops though. There's no AA here in this force but they just go and get their one kill and then they... oh no they swing back round. There's a lot of archers here now in with the blob. I hope they get their second payload off without... oh no there is one casualty. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not but uh, it's going to be very expensive if it isn't. As we see ghost miners here from last. They pride of the working class. It's all or nothing here. From from last, and it's going to be up to Dark Pest to try and hold us, which I think he probably can. He's going to want to be careful. These ghost miners go in, get some crushes in. One of them goes down, however, after some four out of five. A third is going to die, but not before he crushes three archers. Three out of five. As the shotgun absolutely rins through the defenses here. Actually, it looks like last is going to fold completely here. They've got five, six Gatling tanks out here. But not enough infantry anymore, and those Gatling tanks get absolutely rinsed. We're down a barracks as well. This mind control tries to make something work. We see bloaters come out as a last resort option, but the Foxtrots are back, but they dive straight into the AA. They get one barrage off on their depth, but they take two casualties in return. The shocking block is slowly thinning, but they've done some pretty people bad damage. Oh no, the bloaters get right in there! Some of them don't get the kill. Oh, they have thoroughly melted that blob. It looks like Dark Pestens is going to survive. And he's got surviving quite a healthy attack uh, amount of cash as well. He could potentially counterattack right now. But there are more shockies back out. Last is now mining ore, so the initial momentum from that has now officially run out, but he's still on tech. He's gonna try and tech to T2 on the radar dish now. And let's get some tech going. Whereas Dark Pestens is now on tier 3 with a healthy bank account. Ooh, that Fox Jump didn't even get a missile of the volley off. And Ran now enters the field as well. So these Shockies are now a major spot of bother. But I don't quite... I'm not quite sure if it's going to be enough. We've got Dust Devil out here now as well for the debuff. Depends with Akala comes. To be fair, the minute Akala comes out, if it gets to the front line and there's no anti-air from last, that Akala will probably seal the deal. It's going to take a while for it to emerge. T2 out for last. It's going to go straight for the new reactor. Instant shelter on the front line. Acting this time as an already garrison uh, stationary defense instead of an aggressive play. You see a wild tigger out on the field. Looks like they see 
Forticus out on the field. So they're going to be the anti air response for the Arcana. I think we just saw two Ghost Runners die to Terror Drones. As we see, now the Fox Drops try and get some extra damage in, but I'm not really sure how successful that was. There's Arcana now in just a few. Fair amount of mind control out of the field here for Lava Dark Pestilence, I'm sorry. Last is rather insistent on the Fox Trust though. That probably was making keeping him bankrupt, I'll be honest. But we have what, five Fox Trots out on the field to six in production? There's a sizable amount of AA in Dark Pestilence, so I mean he's gonna dump down the tech protector. Which honestly, I don't think is a but right here in this situation where the defenses are right there, well and truly in the range of, of the tech protector, that could actually be pretty bad if uh, he decides he doesn't need it. He guns it down, try and generate some extra space. Here come the Fox Trots, they're gonna dive on, not on Ra, oh nope, no, they do try, but he loses half of them. Ra is alive, well. The random shot you can get mind control again. Oh, that's not a good spot for those miners to be in. They get caught out, but I think this one might survive? Yes, it does. So it looks like the fight is now well and truly going to begin in earnest. The mind control takes control of several tickers and acts as meat shields. Cast Shadow Ring and ba Barrier. I think they're mis misclicking the, barrier in the Shadow Ring cast. But the mind control goes absolutely ham, and there's not enough anti air here. There's a couple of flat cannons now as well, which is going to be the anti air, but remember, last is broke. Uh, those flat cannons could easily punish the Arcala. The Shockies could probably win the engagement conventionally, but the Arcala is going to decide to move away, so we're out to the left of these cliffs here. While Dark Pestilence keeps last busy, viruses have now entered the fray as well, so they'll just pick away at the Shockies. If last doesn't take this engagement here and now, he won't win. But to be fair, I think with the emergence of the viruses and Ra'n still not dead, I don't think Vast can win. Gene Burst comes down as well, doesn't get any more hurt. So Foxtrot dies, but makes sure to pat his craft firmly in Ra'n's face. As Vast's army is evaporated and quits the game. Very nice comeback from Dark Pestilence. Alright.